Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is day 14 of Vlogmas, so we are officially two weeks in, um, which is quite exciting. I didn't really think I'd be able to upload every day, but this is proving that I can. So today I'm actually taking a trip to Poundland, um, which is very exciting. I do love Poundland. So yeah, I'm going there to see what new bits they have in. Doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas related, um, just the new bits in general. Um, things that can go in stockings, decor, yeah, just everything really. So of course I thought I'd bring you along with me today because who doesn't love a Poundland trip? So I'm about to leave now and I'll see you when I get there. They've got all the Christmas chocolate here as you walk in. And then the fridges. We've got some Christmas decorations here. So they do have some fairy lights, all different ones. Some light up Santas and snowmen. And then you have all the tree decorations as well. You've got all the Christmas advent calendars, all different ones there. And then onto the Christmas chocolates. And then we have the biscuits. So here we've got some nice little gifts. This is the Fern McCann range. So you've got a body butter here, a body scrub, a spray and a bath bomb. And you've got some just right stuff down here as well. So this is like body stuff as well. There's a tanning mitt. And then down the bottom, you've got like foot pills and body creams. So here you've got like false nails. This is in the just right section as well. And then you've got some makeup organizers there, some nail files. And then here you have the makeup. So down here, you've got some lip glosses and lipsticks. You've got foundation, some powder, concealers there. So there is everything for like a full face, which is really good. Well, there's a um, brow gel there as well, which looks quite nice. And then at the top, you've got all the nail polishes. And yeah, lots and lots of makeup. So here you've got all the shampoo and conditioners. I've heard a lot of this brand, but I've never tried it. So I think that's quite interesting. I wonder if it is any good. The banana one sounds quite nice and the ginger. So this is the cleaning aisle. We don't actually have any Christmassy Sephora's. So there's a lot of like summery, they're like classic scents. And then you have this one as well, which I think is Poundland own. There is some Christmas fairy washing up liquid. So you have the original Christmas scent and the apple scent as well, which sounds quite nice. The candles, so you've got the Winterberries one. This is the Airwick brand. And also some of the pure room sprays as well. So there's mulled wine, forest pine, which sound really nice. And then you've got the like automatic room sprays one here. So again, it's the same scents. You've got mulled wine. There's another one by the fire and winter wonderland as well. Christmas hour, you've got all tinsel here, tinsel wreaths, little stockings. You've got all the owls that people use, as, that people use for like the elf on the shelf. There's a nice garland. I think a lot of this you can add to like DIY things to make your own wreaths. Here's a lot of arts and crafts Christmas bits over here as well. And some nice little Christmas boxes if you want to put like a present in there, that'll be good. So over here you've got some bottles of lights in. There's some fairy lights there as well. All different kinds of fairy lights. There's a nice Christmas doormat as well, which says Merry Christmas on it. There's some bits for like a Christmas party as well. Not that we'll be having that this year. But you've got some cups, bowls, napkins, there's crackers down there. Some nice Christmas mugs. So here we have some nice Christmassy mugs and a plate as well for Santa on Christmas Eve. And then there's some nice wine glasses. These are really nice as well, these naughty and nice cups. And then we have the salt and pepper shakers there. So over this side there's some nice baubles and also little glittery trees, there's some candle holders. This is the little gift section. So you've got some shower gel, bath salt, some Avengers things and Lowell doll things as well. Some more nice bath bits. 
you've got all like the stocking full of chocolates here so you've got chocolate coins chocolate lollies little smarties and kinder chocolates as well and then we've got like the sweet boxes down here so there's a drumstick squashies one over here we've got stuff for wrapping so you've got nice bows and there's little sacks as well some labels and then some more little boxes down here and then we have the christmas cards this is the station reception so you've got lots of nice arts and crafts things down here if you wanted to do that around christmas time you've got some nice pens some wax crayons they look very interesting and then you have stuff like masks as well if you have any younger children in your family over here we have some more wrapping paper and the party section as well so this is all really nice this looks like the company ginger ray so you've got some nice party blooms some hanging honeycomb decorations so over here you have all the electrical stuff if you want to give any gifts like that so you've got some chargers some phone cases headphones speakers as well this is the home section you've got lots of candles here really nice autumny winter colors some photo frames and some incense sticks down the bottom they look really nice these pots like vases look really cute i love those fringe baskets as well you've got some gold sort of interior Here you've got all the glasses and mugs that's really sweet i do like that so here we've got all the bacon things you've got bacon boxes down there some trays jugs you've got some cutout bits rolling pins and all the utensils so i'm now home from poundland they actually had quite a lot in i'm um, not necessarily just christmas stuff but a lot of nice obviously cheap stuff poundland used to be everything was a pound um, which is why it's obviously called Poundland, but now some things aren't a pound. Um, I'm not sure if that's happened more recently, but I know when I was a lot younger and used to go in Poundland, everything, everything was a pound. But even the stuff that was a bit more expensive wasn't expensive, it was literally like a couple pound. Um, so yeah, I love Poundland. Not just because it's cheap, but because it actually does good quality things as well. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas.